um, something that can help you here on the panels and I icons. Here in the icons, I like to work with different things here that I place for myself. For example, layers. All this right now is on one layer. Um, I would have to do a full tutorial on layers because it's worth doing a tutorial on. But if you've worked with Photoshop, then you know that it's important to work with different kinds of layers. So right now everything is in a different layer. But if I was to, to create a new layer, so everything here would be red. So right now, all the objects I've put here are in one layer. So I can just drag it there. And then, yeah, so this is in the red layer. So, so it has a red selection and this is in the blue layer because it has a blue selection. So that's pretty much what layers does. Also when I'm typing, this is kind of good to have your near you as you as you work to just have some of these options open for you. I love swatches, um, which I'll do a tutorial on because it can give your shape any texture right now these are the selected textures but you can import your own textures and just drag them and drop them here so right now these are the pre-selected so you can see here it gives it a interesting texture or pattern so you can download your own patterns and just drag them here if you have a pattern just drag it here to just click here and yeah and libraries um if you download libraries from the internet, you can just have them saved here. And this can help you color guide um, basic. And something that I use a lot here, panels, is the align tool when I want things to align. So let's say I would like, I would like to transform. So I want this object, like I said, I put it at the zero point. This is the zero point, the X and Y. So I'll take it to zero and zero. So here it's at this exact point. So I can align things like that. This has quite a thick line, so you can see that properly. So I hope you can see that well. So that's good for aligning. And then this is for aligning it to the center and moving it about. I also have the another tool that I use is the gr uh, gradient tool you and the transparency tool. But this is really good when you create shades for your renders and all. So here you can choose your color and you can also choose your type of fade. And if you want a linear or radio, and then you work with the different uh, things. I'll do different tutorials for that. So that's pretty much an introduction um, to the basic tools that you will need when you start using Illustrator. Next, I'm going to go into specific tools that um, I will expound on. For example, the text tool and the layers tool and um, some of these are the tools that you will need before I go into specific projects. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope this was just a basic introduction for you not to fear Illustrator and just have an idea of how some of these uh, parts work. Okay, see you next time.